I've been in the theater for as long as I can remember. Uh, since I was old enough to know I could stand on a stage and try to make people laugh or cry, I've wanted to do it. Uh, four years old, I think it was the first show I was in. I was the third bunny rabbit in the Winnie the Pooh play. <laughs> I had one line and I uh, kicked uh, I kicked one of my players in the crotch for a laugh. I got in really big trouble for that. Uh, it's not really something. Just stay, stay on your script if you're in a play. <laughs> um, but I've been been in theater forever, and uh, and I've been an actor well before I was a DJ. And uh, one of the things that people forget about theater is theater is not really just about the actor on stage. Okay, there's a lot going on to be sure a theatrical production happens. Um, and one of the things I talk about in the entertainment experience is this idea that we look at what we do from a theatrical standpoint. Uh, there's uh, there's how the the how it's all staged, where the props are, uh, where the transitions lie. Um, uh, how your performance goes, um, and all of those things. And it's all really very important. And, and, and one of the things that people use a lot in, uh, in theater, of course, is lighting. I mean, you're going to darken the room and you're going to put lights on stage to light up the actors and the action and the props and the scenery and all of those things. And DJs have been using lights for years. Um, and oftentimes, I think what's happened over the years is the people's DJs have used lights because they think lights are cool. And trust me when I tell you, I think lights are cool too. Um, I think they're the coolest thing we have. They're bright and shiny, and that's what you know attracts a guy with ADHD is the bright and shiny, you know, uh, little thing in the corner. Uh, lots of lights is 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 cool as heck. What I've not seen many DJs do is use them in an actual theatrical way. I mean, really, um, when lights are used. On stage for a play, it is to set a mood, it's to set a tone, it's to get the room to sigh. The, the, the lights are as much an actor in the room as the actor. And if used correctly, it can make the room gasp. It can make the room cheer. It can make them uh, silent with anticipation. Um, depending on where it shined, what colors they use, if they're on, if they're off. And nowadays, and back in the days when we had DJ lighting, they were just flashing lights. You know, cans that would go red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue. You know, and that's, and that's cool. Or you'd have a, a police light. I, I still have my police lights. I got a blue one and a red one. And, hey, I, I, I used those for years. And when I used to use my lights, I'd plug them in and I'd put a tree behind me and I'd put the cop lights on the table and the strobe light on the table in front of me. And I would turn the cop lights side and these, and they would just do that. Let's turn them on. And they'd go to the music. And when a slow song came, I turned off the cop lights and I turned on a red light. And when some kind of drum solo would happen, sometimes I'd hit the strobe light and go blah, 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 blah. really dramatic when I did that. You know why? Because I used it for a reason. There was an actual reason to have them. And nowadays, lights are way more intelligent than that. They call them intelligent lights because you can make them do more things and different things and you can program them to the music you're using and to the moments you're creating. And there are so many people that spend thousands of dollars on lights and they don't use them. They still are treating them like they did in the 80s when you turned them on and let them play to the music. I got intelligent lighting, but you're not really using them. Now, the reason, part of the reason is it's really hard. Okay, you got to be a technical wizard oftentimes to really figure this stuff out, or at least uh, in my mind, I'm, I'm not really a technical guy. So lighting for me, I don't use a lot of, okay, because if I can't use it in a dramatic way, in a purposeful way, I don't use lighting. In fact, when I do use lighting in a wedding, I charge more for it and I bring a guy who understands lighting and design and I tell him what I want to do and we, we create those scenes and those, those moments that are supposed to happen so it all happens right. But you know how many people don't? I mean, way more than you think. You, you might be one of those people, and, and that's okay, I guess, but it's a lot of money to spend on lighting for you not to figure out actually how it works. Not just the technical end of it, but how emotion can be created in a room from the lights that you use and the lights you do not use. Okay? If you don't understand that, then you've spent tens of thousands of dollars on lights and never taken a theatrical lighting class. And if you really want your lights to have an impact to the point where you could probably just do lighting, like my friend Jeremy Breck over in South Dakota, DJ Jerry, if you go and see it, his podcast, they're very technical, he's very smart, way smarter than I am. But uh, he also is a representative for Chauvet in, in that when they want to show off how to use the lights, he knows how to use them. But if you, he's does huge amounts of money designing rooms and creating those emotional scenes with the lights that he has. And you can do it with very little light or a lot. 
Okay, if you really understand this. So my challenge is to you, if you've not taken a theatrical lighting class, okay, not about the technical, I mean, you have to know that, okay, and you're gonna have to do that anyway, to know how to use Show Express and things like that. But how now do you use two lights and make the room gasp when you use them at the right time? How do you make the room sigh when you use them at the right time, the right way? in the script, within the story. That's what I'm talking about. You want to really evolve to something amazing that nobody else does with your lighting? Try that. Or, who ideas in the lighting? Because, I don't know about you, but red, green, blue, even intelligent lighting that's just kind of flashing around the room after a little while just gets annoying. And do you really want to be known as the annoying guy who turned the lights on and wouldn't turn them off? I don't. What do you think about this? This is just one idea, I know. And a lot of guys who have lights get upset at me when I talk about this. Trust me, let me make it clear, I love lights, I think they're cool. I just don't have the skills to be able to make them be amazing. You guys have all the technical skills, now get the artistic skills. Paint with it, create with it. Tell me what you think, write it down in the podcast information below, uh, in the YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done that already. Come to the Facebook page, find me on, uh, on uh, find me on Facebook and friend me. And uh, I'll see you next time on Creative License with Bill Herman.